Hey y'all, I'm Chan and you're watching Made by Chan and today I'm going to be showing you everything I want to make this fall. It's freaking fall y'all, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, let's address this. Um, I went on vacation, had a great time. However, I very much lost my voice. <laughs> this is the best I've been able to talk all week. The show must go on though, so <laughs> I'm dealing with it. I sound a lot better than I used to sound, but you know, scream singing trap music probably didn't help me. Um, you will see everything I made on vacation in my next video. If you see me look at my phone, that's just to make sure that I don't miss anything and I can look at my notes. So one of the things I want to make this fall is jeans. Jeans or cords. I'm open. Corduroy fabric hasn't fully come into stock yet near me and the sites I like, but I do have denim. So I'd like to make a pair of Lander jeans by True Bias. If you remember on my Make 9, I did say I wanted to make more bottoms and I feel like I've been doing that. I've now made two pairs of pants <laughs> or two pairs of shorts. I'm gonna make a pair of jeans. This is just a lightweight denim. I can link all the fabric that's linkable down below, but I'm going, I'm not gonna self-draft it, but I now do know the modifications I'll need to make so that I can make a good fitting pair. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Next up, I have this rayon twill fabric and I picked this up when I went shopping in the LA Fashion District. I just really like this color. As you all know, look at my couch, <laughs> as you all know. <laughs> and I purposely wanted something a little heavier because I would like to make an M7974. That is like my dream dress that I keep putting on my list to make. I'm going to make it and I'm making, I'm going to make a fall version. And I felt like, because I would like to be somewhat warm in it, I this was a good weight that still had enough drape that I'm really gonna like it. And also this doesn't wrinkle too much. I got four yards of it. I don't think I'm gonna need that much, but my plan is to make a long sleeve version and um, knee length skirt, maybe a little longer, we'll see. So that's up next. <sighs> the next from the LA Fashion District, I picked up this poly, I'm pretty sure it's poly, but it's crepe. And I just thought this was so cute for fall. <laughs> Look like, ugh, I don't, I don't think I've ever really worn this color. So, but it has all the other colors I love, like mint, yellow, white, purple. I think it's so cute. So my plan for this one is that I want to make the Davenport dress by the Friday Pattern Company. I've never made a Friday Pattern Company dress before or an item of clothing. So I heard the instructions are really good and they also have a sew along on YouTube. So I'm going to make that. And I heard if you make it of a drapier fabric, it makes it a little dressier. My theme for the rest of the year is I want to wear dresses that feel loungy so that I'm not just in a pajama pants and a nice shirt while I'm working or sweatpants and a nice shirt. I want just simple things I can pop on, make me feel dressed up, but are very comfortable, very cozy. That's what we're going for. Next up, I went, do I want to switch stores yet? No, we'll stay in the fashion district. If you haven't picked up on it, because I know the video's not out, I went to LA for my vacation. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, so I picked up some silk charmeuse and I don't know what I'm gonna make with this, but I just thought this was beautiful <laughs> when I saw it. <laughs> it's this cobalt blue silk charmeuse and I love it so much. I got four yards, so I definitely have enough to make a dress, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm making yet, but I just really like it. <laughs> and I'm no longer intimidated by working with silk and slippery fabrics because I find that I gravitate towards those, but it's gonna be beautiful, whatever I make. <laughs> I also picked up this, what, what color would we call this? like pink, purple, lilac-y silk charmeuse that I'm of two minds about. <laughs> I got three yards. I was going to make the Sudley top by Megan Nielsen. I've already like got the pattern and everything. You don't need three yards for that pattern, but I really like this shade of pink on me, I've decided. Like light pinks don't always work on me, but I like this one. But then, I said, what if you made silk pajamas? <laughs> and so I do have enough for silk pajamas, so I might make that instead. I haven't decided yet. Well, I think I have decided, but <laughs> so this will either, this is probably gonna be um, the Carolyn pajamas from Closet Core. I wanna make a lot of pajamas this year because that makes me feel cozy. Or there's fall and winter because I love being cozy. So 
that's an option. I need it, all this still needs to be clean. Oh, I should say where I got stuff. So my favorite stores in the fashion district are Journal Fabrics, Wall, and Fabric to Fabric, or Fabric and Fabric, or Fabric to Fabric. Um, I got the, I got this Silk Charmeuse, and this uh, crepe at Journal Fabrics. I got the poly, or the Rayon 12, sorry, from Wall Fabrics. This is, the Blue Silk Charmeuse was from, where did I get this? Fabric to Fabrics. All three of these stores have very different feels, by the way. <laughs> and then um, the last thing I got from the Fashion District is this brocade, uh, or it's a jacquard. I can't really tell. But <laughs> this one I got from Journal Fabrics. And this I am imagining, I'm actually kind of previewing this a little early, <laughs> but this I'm imagining as a holiday dress. It could be holiday dress. Or, let me walk through my thought process. <laughs> Originally, I picked this up because I wanted to make the Vicky Sosa Audrey dress, but then I found what I had actually been looking for for that, which I'll show you in a second. So then I kind of pivoted and I may either do a, one of the Hill House dresses, not a nap dress though. I, there's like a specific one I have in mind. Or I'm really leaning towards just doing a pair of trousers with a cream sweater. And that could also be like a Thanksgiving or holiday look or you know, office Christmas party, something like that. So I have two yards of it because I thought I was making a dress. Um, but two yards is enough to make trousers. Um, I'm thinking just a straight leg cropped trouser, probably high waisted. It's, I just, I love it. I think it like kind of yells holiday, you know, Thanksgiving or the other 29 holidays that happen in December. Like <laughs> there's more than, there's more than this too. <laughs> but I think this would work well for it. Moving on, I went to Mood Fabrics in LA because I'm always ordering swatches from them. <laughs> I love Mood. So I picked up, oh, I still have the sticker on. <laughs> I picked up this tweed fabric, which is really cool. It's like tweed with ribbons in it. And this is what I wanna make the Vicky Sews Audrey dress out of. I heard Plaza Core is the new trend that's coming out. I'm all for Plaza Core. I, it's like, um, think Blair from Gossip Girl, um, Emily in Paris, like that kind of vibe. Blair Edie, if you follow Atlanta, Atlantic Pacific, like, I love the idea of this with a flowy white blouse underneath it with a little bow, or I could do this with a little turtleneck. The options are endless, but I think this is so cute. Got two yards of this. Still need to wash it. I wanted to do this video so that I could drop everything off at the dry cleaners. <laughs> There's that. And then last but not least, I picked up this. This is my first ever Liberty of London fabric. <laughs> So if you, if you know about Liberty of London, they're a British brand, they're kind of like a heritage brand. People really like them. They make cotton lawn and, and other types of cotton fabric, but just has a really nice feel to it. And I said I just wanted to make a, a nice, simple cotton shirt. I want to work with a non-difficult fabric. <laughs> I picked this up, I actually picked this up from Joann's because if you like Liberty fabric, they're now selling it at Joann's, some side story. Um, Liberty fabric is expensive and they don't offer coupons <laughs> or like you can't get it on sale. So before they cut it, they were like, do you know how much this costs? Do you know that you can't use a coupon on it? And I was like, yeah. Then they all got so excited for me because I guess people haven't, it's not bought often. <laughs> they're like, what are you gonna make? Oh, I love this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is what I wanna make the Sudley top out of. I like the stars. I like that it is just kind of fun and like, a bit of a surprise and I like all the colors in it. I'm going to make the Sudley top with this instead of the pink Charmeuse Sudley by Megan Nielsen. And I think it's gonna turn out really well. <laughs> I got a yard and a half of this just to be safe. You only need a yard and a quarter. But I don't know how much this shrinks because I've never used Liberty London. Um, this is a cotton lawn fabric. I've never used that before. I picked that up as well. That is my haul and everything I got in the fashion district and all my sewing plans for fall slash autumn. I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> I think I've got some cute stuff in my wardrobe. <laughs> Bit of a scheduling update about how everything's gonna go for the next couple months. So I'm gonna do my fall sewing. I'll definitely post it on the channel. I will do um, winter makes, but 
I also am gonna do some holiday content. So probably most of the winter makes will show up after the new year because I'm gonna take a break for Thanksgiving. I will also take a break for the holidays. I will let you all know again when that time comes up. <laughs> but <laughs> I've tried to plan out the rest of the year. Like I said, we're trying to get more structure in here. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a like. Or if you wanna see what I'm going to be sewing and how everything turns out, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you all next time.